I'm with Norm today from Lily Miller and we're talking about lawns in the fall. So Norm, what can we start doing this time of year for our lawns? Well, at this time of the year, there's several things that people should do to be winterizing their lawn or protect mm -hmm. it over the fall. Uh, most of the time, what we find here in the Northwest, the lawns don't go completely dormant. Right. Uh, you take like in the eastern part of the state, they'll go brown, but we don't get that cold enough temperature. Mm. But still, our lawns go through a drastic change in the fall of the year. Sure. So what you want to do to protect your lawn for overwinterization is to use a good fall and winter product. Uh, the N, P, and K, I know it's confusing to a lot of people, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you want to look for something that's got a slow-release amount of nitrogen. Okay. What that means, Judy, is the fact that the slower the release of the nitrogen, it will stay longer in the soil because the soil temperatures have dropped. Okay. And then in the spring of the year, that nitrogen that has been put down that is slow release will then release and as that releases it will green the lawn okay now another thing that helps it out is a good lime product okay super sweet soil sweet either one that also helps protect the lawn over the winter okay but what it's going to do it's going to give you with a good balanced winterization product, you're going to get a, a balanced fertilizer, you're going to get it to get down into the soil, help develop those roots for the overwintering, and help it protect it from some of the overwintering diseases that we get here in the Northwest. And Lily Middler really helps us with that. We don't want to use that spring bloom, spring uh, fertilizer, but we want to use the fall, winter, it's right on the bag, so right, that really helps right us. Right on the bag, you know, you get spring of the year, everybody gets all excited about it's time to do something. It's right. biological, you know, they want to plant flowers, you know, they want to, they want to do anything because they're tired of being in the house right so they'll get out there so even in the spring they want to look for a slow release fertilizer okay. but it is difference in the fall they put a little bit more potassium for the root development in the fall and uh, a little bit more of the the other materials that will help it from disease and, and benefit the plants but it's just that it is completely different and you look for a say fall and winter right. winterization winter and fall no matter how you put it down it should say good fall and winter fertilizer well let's go see some lawn that has had that application and see the difference between this one. We can take a walk right down over to the All neighbor's right. house. Come on, Judy. So, Norm, this is something to aspire to. And so, if you put good fertilizer down, you put your, um, you irrigate it right, put your lime down. This is just beautiful. Yes, this is a lawn here that's been actually renovated, and uh, down here in the valley, uh, it is an excellent time of year to overseed. Could mm. be getting just a little bit late but we still have some good soil temperatures so the sure. seed will germinate. This was basically done in uh, the later summer this mm -hmm. past year. It's only about a year old and it's a beautiful mixture of a perennial ryegrass lawn, but it is fed about four times a year and it is mowed at about two inches in height. No clippings are picked up from this lawn, but it's mowed very frequently. Mm -hmm. So there is some value of nutrition for the clippings to go back into the lawn. But I think a couple things too is to know that it has been maintained mm -hmm. fall and this next spring it's going to look just like it did this fall or next spring it's going to look like it does right now because it's just the maintenance that it's gone through right. and if people continue to do that they'll have a very successful lawn program so we can go into our independent garden centers pick up the lily miller products and get them and just maintain this and keep a nice lawn that's all you need to do well thanks for all those tips and i think we can all do this at home thank you we'll see you all right